here we are. We're getting ready to leave Phoenix. Today is the new moon. What's it in? Aries. Aries. Fire. <laughs> Means new beginnings. Yeah, it's uh, we're living a life of trust and um, positivity and uh, really believing that we can make a life of our dreams. Uh, we're going to head up to Flagstaff and look for a place to uh, park the uh, RV. Uh, but this is uh, the beginning of living more love. So uh, hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully we will. It's <laughs> <laughs> the goal. Breakfast time? Breakfast. What do we have? channel live more love we are a full-time traveling family yeah yeah so we just got to Flagstaff Arizona last yesterday yesterday afternoon and we're gonna go out and adventure around today came from Seattle originally. We were living there for about seven, eight years. Um, that's where Fritz and I met. Um, and we had Elijah, he's almost two. I was working as a nurse in an ICU and Fritz was doing some freelance with um, acting and film production and um, staying home with Elijah when I was at work. But we. We're feeling a little bit stuck in Seattle. It's a really expensive town, and we really would love to find some beautiful property one day and build a home, and so we're on a bit of an adventure to find where we might want to do that. We decided to make this massive leap of faith. <laughs> I hope that you come along with us and continue to, to be with us on our journeys. So we try to get in a uh, full yoga and meditation practice every morning and of course with the baby we have to switch off. Um, so I usually go first and uh, now I'm going to go second. Seattle about three months ago, um, 
travel down all down through California and uh, ended up in Arizona. We've been all over Arizona, but uh, my mom has been sick, so we ended up in Phoenix for uh, quite a bit longer than we anticipated. Um, it was good though. There was some real healing, I think, that went on with my family and with myself. And, uh, you know, as this is really a time I feel like of uh, letting go and, uh, you know, big transformations for a lot of people. So uh, I feel very much like we were kind of guided there uh, unexpectedly and um, really turned out to be a beautiful experience. Are you ready to practice? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. He's crackers in his pocket. Let's go. He's had five meltdowns. Well, should we go out? <laughs> well <Whoa. laughs> Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Let's go. I admit that when she asked me to do this, I, I was I was skeptical. I was a little nervous. Uh, you know, how are we going to make this happen? How are we going to keep doing it? But um, 
you know, I'm also one to tr trust in the universe, if you will, uh, trust in something greater than myself. And uh, I truly believed, and I still believe, that if you, know, you move in the direction of something and you find that you're supported, um, that you should follow through and that just keep up with what you're doing and you'll continue to be supported. You know, it really comes down to do you trust? Do you trust enough? in something beyond yourself, you know, that you're a part of something bigger, that you do have a purpose, that, um, that you'll be guided along the way. And I definitely feel, um, even though, uh, I definitely feel like we've been guided. I definitely feel like we've uh, been guided so far. It really just, can you get through the fear? Can I get through the fear uh, and believe trust. approach everything with love, you know, every person we come in contact with, every situation, then we're living a higher vibration every day, and we're able to bring in more abundance, and more prosperity, and more community, and just overall a much happier existence. There's one up there that we passed yesterday. Oh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
life is a spiritual journey, and I don't mean religious. I mean a spiritual journey. The energy, frequency, and vibrational aspect of everything. That's spirituality. Our emotions, our thoughts, our projections out into the world is all energy, frequency, and vibration. So if we, our idea is that if we can live at the highest vibrational capacity, then we have nothing to worry about, right? We can trust that everything will be taken care of because we are living at our most optimal self. It's my belief that living that way myself is the best thing that I can do because it's all I can control. I think this is really all about the journey. It has nothing to do with the destination. The more that I'm on my spiritual journey and learning about how energy works and how um, powerful we are as human beings, as light beings, you know, Hue, H-U-E, <laughs> M-A-N, we are light beings, um, I am just realizing so much that our mindset and our belief system and how we feel set the stage for our entire life. This life is, is sort of taking back what we what we feel like we we need um as human beings to be happy creative passionate loving uh people where we feel like we're thriving in life as opposed to just surviving well, just look at where i am right now i'm in a forest in northern arizona you know i realized that being grateful Living with a grateful heart and a peaceful heart is the key to life. Um, I have witnessed a lot of people uh, suffering and a lot of deaths. I have held a lot of hands as people have died. And I can tell you that that gives you a very uh, interesting perspective on life. It makes, it makes me very much want to not regret anything and to live a life where I am just myself, completely authentic. We want to live more love every day because I really think that that foundation is the key to, um, to happiness. <laughs>
S is for a sweeper truck. Huh? That's a sweeper truck. Okay. And a shoe mobile. It's the end of the day. Uh, she's putting Elijah to bed. They've got their sound machine on. So our idea is that uh, we're gonna try to do one of these a week. This is the first one. So we hope you have enjoyed it and uh, that we'll see you again next week. Um, we're looking to come out with some meditations and things like that that we practice that you might be interested in. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram, which is uh, Live More Love. And, uh, of course, right here on YouTube. So. Sad now.